Anyway, have you ever seen the film uh, Joker? When Joaquin Phoenix, um, he actually went on a really big diet to lose weight for the film. And also in The Machinist, uh, Christian Bell lost a weight. Well, I, that's very dangerous, actually. That is a bit dangerous, I think. I know you've got someone watching over you, but I think it's a bit dangerous to lose that amount of weight to play a movie. But I still think, um, is it, I can't remember his fucking name now. The guy who played Freddie Mercury was excellent. He did, no, he did a really nice job of playing Freddie Mercury. But here's a clip. Um, do you remember Rogue One? Have you ever seen Rogue One? So I've got to talk really for the tape, guys. Um, have you ever seen Rogue One? And they had uh, Peter Cushing was in Rogue One playing uh, Moff or whatever, Chen Moff. But um, yeah, Peter Cushing was in Rogue One. Kind of thing. And he was been dead for about 30 years. He'd been dead for about 20 or 30 years. And he was in Rogue One. So how about doing it with the same actor, get the same actor to play Freddie Mercury, but because you've got all this computer technology now, I can't get this phone working, you've got all this computer technology, you could slim down his face using the computer, couldn't you? Hmm? To, you know, to make him look like Freddie Mercury when Freddie Mercury was dying of AIDS. Because Freddie Mercury actually recorded quite a few more songs with Queen after uh, Live Aid, I mean after Live Aid, etc. But you could get the same actor, um, I can't remember your bloody name now, to play the same actor who was in Bohemian Rhapsody, to play Freddie Mercury when Freddie Mercury was dying for a sequel, to tell the rest of the story, like the Spanish story, etc. But you could have the same actor to do it, but you could use computers, you could use computer-generated technology to actually slim down his face a little bit, to make him look more like... You know when Freddie Mercury lost a lot of weight, slightly mad and all that? And Freddie Mercury lost a lot of weight, You'd actually use the computer technology to slim down um, Mr. Where are his name's faces. I can't remember his bloody name now. I've only played Freddie Mercury, but a good actor, very good actor. But you could actually use computer technology to do this sort of like make him look like he's a bit or good makeup, you know. I don't think you could do it with good makeup. Well you could do it with good makeup. Sometimes if you use sort of a bit of white or black or whatever, you can sort of tone down the face. Because like the figure got a bit, you know, slim, lost a lot of weight at towards the end. But you could, t I'd like, it would be nice to, because when Freddie Mercury was alive and dying weight, Queen, well basically they were lying through their teeth towards the end, weren't they? They admitted it on a few documentaries, I've seen a documentary of that. This can be heaven now, that, I've seen that film. Um, but, you know, they admitted that they were sort of like saying that Fred is okay, he's just lost a bit of weight. Nothing wrong with Fred, he's just lost a little bit of weight, kind of. You know what I mean? Because no one actually knew that Freddie, well they didn't, it was pretty obvious. It was pretty obvious really, you know, that Freddie was dying of AIDS in the last few years. But they made quite a few films, they made quite a few videos, didn't it? Queen actually released quite a few videos when Freddie was dying of AIDS and he's lost a lot of weight and stuff. And they were just saying, oh no. They denied the AIDS thing a while until he died actually. I, th I don't think they actually admitted they knew about Freddie's illness until Freddie died. So. It would be nice to tell the story of the later years, you know, Freddie's last years. You get the same actor to play Freddie, but you could use the computer-generated stuff to sort of slim down the face or whatever. Just an idea, anyway. I've got to go now, because, you know, stuff to do.